it's been a very busy year for me. Let's see. I was treated successfully for cancer. I moved my home and my office. And I learned a very important lesson. Accept what I cannot change and pay attention to the things that I love and the people that I love. I didn't have a choice in whether or not I was ill, but I did have a choice when I was told what my diagnosis was. I had a choice on how I was going to feel, how I was going to show up, and I made a very strong decision. I was going to do everything I could to get well, and I chose to be happy. Now that might sound a little odd given the circumstances, and I chose how I was gonna show up, how I was going to deal with everything, and I had a few bad days, but mostly not because I was surrounded by light. I was surrounded by caring. I was surrounded by people who were helping me get well. People who cared about me, who expressed their, their feelings and Throughout everything that happened, I was positive. And I'm reminded of that today because every day is a choice. Every day and every transaction that I have with another person is a choice. How I interpret and how I respond, I have a choice. And I'm encouraging you to choose what makes you feel good, what makes you have positive, joyful emotions, and look at the things that are dragging you down. And are they necessary, or are you choosing to engage in behavior that isn't supporting you, that isn't making you feel good, that is not productive? This is a perfect time of year to reflect on relationships that work, on business practices that work, on how to tune up the ones that you want to keep and what you want to discard. If you look at nature, this is the time of year that trees are shedding their leaves, that um, animals go into hibernation, and many types of plants and flowers need the cold and a period of dormancy in order to come forth in the next season and grow. So take the time to review your practices. Take the time to see what is working and what isn't. Decide if you want to repair the things that aren't working or if there's another way to accomplish your goals. Perhaps it's delegating the things that you don't love but are necessary. Perhaps it is discarding certain practices that are no longer serving you. It's a great time to not only clean out your closet but clean up your life. December is a fabulous time. You'll see the rain coming down in most places. You'll feel the shift in the seasons and it's a time for you to go within so that you can come forth in the coming year in the best way possible. Judy Baker, Brand Vines. And like, 
the grapevine, now is the time to store up energy so that in the spring, you can be the best and your business can be the best ever.